I know I'm a bit late when it comes to this argument about free will versus determinism, but I really couldn't think of anything original to say about it until now. And it just occurred to me that a lot of people who defend the free will argument, they, they usually cite the Heisenberg uncertainty principle and the way things work in a sort of chaotic, sort of wacky way uh, at the quantum subatomic level. And while I agree that at that level, the, the normal way of thinking of things in a, in a sense of like cause and effect don't really play out in the same th same way that they do at the macro level. But the question of free will, in light of this, I think is a question of neurology. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I always believed that neurology operated at the chemical level, not at the quantum level. Despite this weird quantum world where cause and effect does not operate in quite the same way as it does in, in the rest of the world, it does still seem to me to be the case that at the chemical level, things are actually quite deterministic. You walk into a chemistry lab and you start mixing chemicals together. If you have a knowledge of chemistry, you're going to know how these reactions are going to play out. You're going to know what other chemicals are going to be produced by these reactions, etc. And you're going to be able to know this with a pretty precise degree of accuracy. So my question is, given that the brain operates chemically, and given that chemistry operates deterministically, how is it that the brain does not operate deterministically? How could we possibly have free will? I mean, that implies to me that the chemical reactions that go on in your brain are somehow not deterministic. And I don't really understand how that could possibly be. 